All right, my friends, if you're gonna change your garbage disposal, it's actually pretty easy to do. I'll put the link in the show notes for the videos that I watched that showed me how to do it. There's two. One that showed me how to do it, the other that showed me how to wire it. And this is what I got is a Badger and Syncorator, one third horsepower. Uh, it works like a charm. I probably, knowing what I know now, I probably should have got a half a horsepower or a, even, I, I, just because we have a pretty big family here. But uh, at the end of the day, we've had this for seven years. It worked great. Had no problems at all. I think it got stuck one time and we just got the, uh, in the broom handle, that forgot to, to unfix the stick. Uh, he, this is the, uh, the box, the Badger one and Syncorator. And again, the one means something. So if you're going to look at Badgers, if you use a five, I think that's a different, uh, it's not the one third horsepower. So this is just a swap, like for like swap. Um, they give you this called a Z wrench. You don't need a Z wrench. It's just a, an Allen wrench. That's all you need. And, and what that does is it helps you to put this in here and you're righty tighty. I'm doing it with my left hand, so it's tough. But, and that allows you to kind of lock it in place. So it, uh, it, but you don't need to get this. You can just get, you can take off the other one with just good old fashioned Allen wrench. But, you know, once you do, you put that in place and it locks in, which is nice. All right, but let me show you the, the hard part I had. Um, and now in hindsight, it could have made a, my life a whole lot easier. Um, it, it doesn't, the when you get the, this is the old one, by the way, when you get the new Badger, it doesn't come um, pre-wired, all right? So it comes just like this, all right? So you got the ground, you got the, uh, what's the white neutral, and the black is hot, right? So whatever it is. I mean, at the end of the day, you'll figure it out, but I mean, because you just watch it, you'll read the directions on your new wire. But you got the ground, the neutral, the hot. Now, what happened was this one already had a wire installed in it right here. And, uh, and I'm just, I'm gonna cut this up and I wanna play the motor. I think it's pretty interesting because a third horsepower motor, I wanna see if I can, what I can do with it, if, you know, whatever, if I get the time. Uh, but I like doing that stuff, it's fun. But anyway, so what, to make your whole life easier, you get a wire, and I'll put a link in the show notes, the actual wire I got for 10 bucks. You can, you know, just uh, cut the old wire and splice it on here, pretty easy to do. The problem I was having was when you use those twist connectors, it just, it wasn't clicking right. I, it wasn't, it wasn't, oh man, it was giving me a hard time. So I wasn't able to twist it, connect, and I just didn't feel comfortable with it. So I, what I did is I just went and got the new brand spank, a new wire, and, and, I, and I was able to connect it. But the way, reason I was able to connect it is you use these, these lever nuts. Man, these things are awesome. Awesome. Instead of the twist ones, you're not quite sure if the twist ones are working well. You just put the, the wire right, let me see if I can't do this, right there. You put one wire, so you got the white, you put on the white. You put the white right in there, and you clamp it down. It's literally that easy. Put the white in there, clamp it down, put your new wire white in there, clamp it down, and you are golden. That's it. Oh my goodness, these things are the best things ever. The Wago lever nuts, um, I love them. And they got another kind at, at Lowe's I saw that weren't nearly as, they're like, you plug them together, I didn't like those at all. These are fantastic. So I'm definitely gonna recommend you get this right here, the Wago lever nuts. So you're gonna need three things. Well, probably need four. You should already have an Allen wrench at your house. You need an Allen wrench, you obviously need a new Badger one. And this one costs 99 bucks, I think I got, uh, I got why well, because I'm a veteran at Lowe's. I got ten bucks off, which is nice. Uh, you you already have the wire in there. If you if you know how to do it, you can just pull it off and splice it. Not that difficult. But again, I was having a hard time connecting them without feeling like I was putting my house at fire at risk. So I just got these Wago lever nuts, and that made it cost like ten bucks for ten or twenty bucks for for a hundred something. That's crazy. Uh, and that's it, man. Then you're ready to rock and roll. So that's my experience. I'll put links in the show notes. And of course, if you buy it through my links, I get paid a commission. But anytime you're wiring stuff, get these lever nuts. These things are fantastic. I forgot the uh, the size of these things here. But uh, um, yeah, I can't remember. Uh, anyway, just look at if you need a, you know, if you need a, a smaller gauge, I think. You, I, I'm not sure. You just have to look at what these ones are, what they come with. Uh, in terms of what kind of specs they can use for voltage and whatnot. All right, man. Well, I hope that helps. Good luck. And it's easy to do. And I'll put the link in the show notes to the other videos that I watched that showed me how to do it. Thanks now.